<laughs> oh, hey, it's the hustle. Hey. Hey everybody, NavyDoc5184 here and welcome to another reaction video. Due to so many people requesting this one, I went ahead, even though it was already on my list for reactions, I went ahead and jumped this up. We are doing um, Selena's disco medley from her Houston Astrodome performance. So um, I know I did a Como La Flor from the same concert and I thought it was her last one. Apparently it was not her last one. I guess she had a couple of concerts after that. Um, maybe this was her um, biggest um, profile one. Um, I don't remember the story behind it, but um, obviously, you know, they made a CD, you know, called the last concert. So that was what I went off of. But um, either way, um, so based off the outfit, knowing it's the Astrodome, um, I already have an idea of what this sounds like um, from the movie uh, that Jennifer Lopez did. So I already have an idea of what songs are going to be in this medley, um, but I'm going to be very curious to see how the real deal looks like. So looking forward to this one a lot. I'm sure it's going to be another one of those bittersweet ones where it is enjoyable, but at the same time, it's just kind of sad because, again, just gets you thinking of what could have been. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and get this started. You know, it's amazing looking at this and comparing it to the movie. It's like they really did their homework. I have to give it to them. Turn that down on my earphones a little bit so I'm not screaming. Listen to that crowd, yo. gotta pause it to comment otherwise i'm not gonna say a darn thing on this and uh that could be really bad for copyright reasons <laughs> um so i just want to comment so far i'm really oh i knew this was going to be great i think the thing i'm impressed with the most is how close they really got now um the song that they're about to do i know is funky town but it's like the whoever did the movie selena boy did they do their homework they were trying to make that it's authentic as possible and they did a hell of a job based off what i've seen and holy crap man again it's just one of those things it's like where could she have gone every single selena video i react to that question's probably gonna be on there so you just better get used to it because it's gonna be asked and it'll probably be asked again you know just how far could she have gone um but yeah let's get back into it Look at her, she is having a ball.
And another thing I have to comment on, what makes it so enjoyable for me is that not only do I really enjoy Selena's music and Selena as an artist, but the era that she's doing is one of my favorite eras. Like for me, I like I really love anything that is 90s back and like 70s era, like disco, R&B, you know, like Motown, even classic rock, you know, that is all like my favorite jam. So the fact that she's doing this medley, it's like makes it that much more enjoyable because I love that era of music. Um, yeah, so I just had to make that comment. Like they went to a different song. What's this one? Oh, I recognize it. Yep, there it is. Someone else that needs. I mean, I know people know her, but you know, I don't think she gets enough credit for what she meant to music. Donna Summer. Holy crap. I can't think of a Donna Summer song that I've listened to that I didn't like. And holy crap. Like, I think her, like this song in general, um, you know, she works hard for the money. Hot stuff. I feel love. I feel love, I think, is amazing. At, I'm going to leave a link to that song in this card right here. But um, just the simplicity of that song. And yet it felt like there was so much in it, but it was like so simple. It's like, I, I, there's just something I appreciate about how some people can just take things and make them very simple instead of throwing so much in there for a spectacle, even though she had her moments. But it wasn't like she needed a whole lot to make that song great, you know? And I think that's why that's one of my favorite Donna Summer songs. Um, Hot Stuff is my favorite, but I would put I Feel Love at a very close second. Um, jeez. Yeah, Donna Summer, man. Dude, like, Queen of Disco. Queen of Disco, in my opinion. Yes, my and Selena is doing her justice. And I don't know if any of you else are noticing this. Um, I it's very possible I'm just looking way too much into it, but you notice like how she is like constantly moving back and forth from the stage, and it looks like she's looking at like different parts of the arena. It's almost as if she is like, you know, being very mindful and trying to 
make some sort of contact with everybody that's there and i think that's one of the things that made her so special you know it's like from where she came from you know as a fan of music herself and wanting to be so you know um i don't know if in tune is the word but she's very she's very passionate about her fan base you know and it seemed like you know that was one of the things that got me um with her um performance of como la flor you know that part where she smiles and then she looks into the camera and waves into the camera rather than waving into the crowd as if to let the people who really couldn't see her know that she recognized them you know it feels like she's still doing the same thing here you know like she's you know it's yeah she's obviously got that energy but it feels like that she's just trying to make sure that she can you know at some point make that connection with somebody um in that crowd you know and that was, you know, to me, one of the things that made her very, very special. Because you notice that part right there, like, you notice how it looked like she, it felt like she looked in like three different areas as if to quickly make contact with different fans. It's just like, jeez, so not fair, so not fair. Oh, hey, look at the hustle! Hey! What's coming up? What's coming up? Another Donna Summer classic. Yo, 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 yo. I knew that was going to be hot. I knew that was going to be hot. I knew it was going to be great. I don't know how many proper adjectives I can use to describe what I knew that was going to be. And it's like, I still wasn't ready for it, yo. Uh, Like I said earlier, one of the things that I felt the most impressed with was um, the producers of the movie or whoever it is, you know, that really had to study this, make the scripts and everything. It's like, good Lord, man. Obviously there are some parts in the movie that they took some liberties with, you know, just to add to the drama, you know, and there was actually a list I saw on a uh, watch Mojo. I'll actually find that list and I'll put it right there for you guys. Um, 
moments in the movie that were true and moments that were false. I'm not going to lie. There was one moment that was true that shocked the living crap out of me that I did not re- that I did not think at all was true. That was um, a couple of them, actually. But um, I won't give any spoilers on that. You can go ahead and check out the video. Um, but um, no, for the most part, you know, I'm like, like I'm watching, like I was watching um, that cum- that cumbia medley I did uh, last time for her. You know, like I was talking about, you know, people who check the wardrobe, and now I'm looking at this concert, you know, and like the attention, the detail that they had, they really wanted to make sure that while they knew they were taking some liberties in some parts, for the most part, they kept it straight on point and you know kudos to them and kudos to jennifer lopez for her performance have they come out with that new show on netflix yet um that's going to be uh kind of like another selena biopic i'm not too sure i'll have to look into that but uh outside of that yeah so dude again another selena performance crushed i knew it was going to be great and it's like i still wasn't ready for it so uh i hope you all enjoyed that as much as i did um if you did please hit the like button and uh make sure you stick around to right around the corner to the end of the video you can subscribe to the channel there and you can check out some of my other reaction videos as well as if you could just go to my channel you can check out some of my gaming videos as well and uh leave a comment let me know what you thought of this performance and again keep bringing on suggestions if i have suggestions that are already on my list you know i try to respond and let you know if anything you request is already on there but if i get enough of request of the same song i will definitely make sure to bump it up like i said i was getting a lot of requests for this one so i went ahead and bumped it up so i really hope you all enjoyed it i know i did i will catch y'all down the road